Hi everyone and welcome back. Now we can see uh, our application. Uh, we have already developed it. The few fixes which I have to do in video is uh, I have to capture this value explicitly and then set it because it was coming as undefined. Uh, and we have actually this is a nested functions right so we have to capture the value of this target first and then assign and here with the stop propagation we also need to use prevent default so that we can submit this method this data to get weather without submitting the form because we don't want to submit a form we just wanted to submit the values which are coming in the form okay so if we run this application then we can see the uh, output coming so like if i just change it to goa india then you can see the conditions are actually we are also getting condition you can see scattered clouds okay if i just search it for jaipur and india then he is right so temp this, this is like a weather information you can customize it you can show it in the better way my objective is just to talk about how we are actually writing the components okay now other thing is what are the things which you need to always take care okay the only thing like if you are writing a class based component then this is always an overhead to manage this uh, binding right if we convert this into arrow function it is arrow function and uh, functional component then it will become very easy right now we are using classes writing the state and then binding these dom events to this this context if we write the functional component then the same code block will look very easy we don't need to uh, face lot of troubles in terms of these arrow functions and the state object and all i mean i can do that big but in the coming videos we will we are going to talk about functional component after looking at that videos you can actually revamp this whole project with the functions because tiles this can be a, this is already a functional component right because we are not doing anything so we don't need to create a classes for it whether this is fine here we are writing the functional component getting the props data destructuring them and directly assigning that data to the ui okay here you can see the app.js and in the form.js here we converted the functional component into class based component if i just convert this into a functional component then these are always an easy thing but it gives you good practice like how to actually convert these and how to write functional component how to write a class based component you can see i am writing a function so here i will be receiving props from parent component if any otherwise i can just write these get weather functions like an arrow function so these can be some now variables const handle input change and now we can just directly assign these methods without binding them to this object we don't even need to pass the event object because we will capture it from there get weather handle change and we can remove this object from here now it is pretty much simple now we need to return it we don't need a render function so i will remove that now this is a functional component now we can get rid of these two things also we are creating duplicate methods and we can have some kind of if we wanted to manage state then we can use use state hook if you are not able to understand it for now because i haven't talked about hooks till this video so you will not be able to understand it so but uh try to understand it i have just a data and set data it is just a, another way to manage the state in the functional component with the hooks set data and i'm using use state and in the use state i initialized this with city and country with empty values till now we were talking that functional component can't have a state these are like dumb component but now with the latest feature changes functional component can do lot of things okay so here we can just use only one method handle change it can be and what we can do is with the name and value right we are getting two things even dot target dot name also is there name is the property which we have assigned as a name country name city so this is name we are getting and we don't have set state 
okay like this dot set state so what it is easy for us what we can do is this dot set sorry set data like inside set data we can actually set the state so here if uh, we are getting the name then we have to set the name if we are getting the well email then we have to set the email right so what we can do here also set data also works in the same way here we can just access state previous state and return this dot dot state and key value so here is a name and here is a value I am passing right so this is just another way to access the same thing I am writing a functional component get weather we just need uh, okay this is fine event object and here instead of this dot props get weather we are just calling that and get weather we are just calling so we can do the destructuring here we don't need to specify get weather we can access directly right so with the functional component things gets lot easier right you are not binding with things here this value will be directly it will be data dot uh, city because data is where we are maintaining the state data dot country right handle change handle now it can be simple handle change okay same component same classes but we just change it to functional component okay so now in the next video we will start talking about youtube application first we will understand the component design then we will split those component into the multiple child component parent component and then we will see how the data will pass he how the data is being passed how the state is being changed here we just have majorly two components this form component is sending this uh, event to the parent component parent component is accessing the data and then the data is being accessed in the app.js to make an api call okay thanks everyone